Welcome to Websites for Beginners. This is JP and today we're looking at a new page builder for WordPress. It's new because it's hardly, I think, over a month or two old and it's just basically gone out of beta phase. And it's been around now, I would say, for a month where you could play with it and really test it out. And I've been actively working with it for a little over a month now since it was first announced. And this is WP page builder. Yes, I know. It's almost like, eh? isn't that every page builder we talk about? But yes, uh, this is the name of this page builder, WP page builder. And it's from a company called, I think, Themium or Themum. I'm going to go with Themium. Now, this is a page builder, as I said, for WordPress. And the first thing I want to tell you, there's a free version. And we'll talk about the free version in a short while, because it is really an excellent free version. It's got a lot of add-ons, which we usually call elements or modules. In the world of WP Page Builder, we call them add-ons, and there's a lot of features. There's really a lot of stuff. Have I said there's a lot of stuff? Yes, I have. Let's quickly first talk about Themium. And Themium, I would say, if you look here on their website at themium.com, you're going to see they have a lot of stuff here. They have themes here, which, of course, you can buy. And I'll, I'll show you now in a while why this is probably a very good deal if you go for their club deal. So they've got themes for WordPress here, really, really good themes. And with that, they have a number of plugins. And at the top is the one we'll be looking at today called WP Page Builder. But the other builders or the other plugins that they are very well known for is WP Crowdfunding plugin for people who work with crowdfunding. They also have a mega menu and then they have a support desk which you can attach and even PayPal adaptive for WooCommerce. So these are all plugins developed by Themium with their themes. And now we have this boy, our WP Page Builder. Now, I first saw this on a forum somewhere on Facebook, and at that stage, I would say it was very, very beta. I tried it for a while. I wasn't impressed, but I went back after a few weeks, and I was impressed because they had made a huge amount of changes. They had really ironed out so many of the kinks, and it was looking as if this page builder was moving forward. So the first thing that caught my attention, and here I am already in WordPress, I've loaded up the page builder, is if you look here on the left under add-ons, which we know as elements, or we know them as modules, look at the astounding amount of add-ons in here. And why this is impressive is because I'm looking at the free version. I want to state that again and again. Five years ago, we couldn't dream about a free page builder. Then we got Elementor and then Brizzy has brought out. Everyone is doing the free thing. But the sheer amount of what you can do in this free page builder is going to blow your mind. If you just look here at one of the layouts I've loaded on the right, this is everything done in the free version. If you go and get it now, you're going to get all of this. So just look at these amounts of add-ons and then the Word, WordPress widgets over here, more to come. Then they have also what's become very popular, the blocks over here. And you can go in and you can load them, make up your own website from these blocks and then the full layouts, which you can choose from. You will see some of them mention Pro and we'll talk about the Pro version soon. Again, I want to tell you there is not one free page builder at the moment that can rival WP Page Builder in terms of elements or add-ons. And this is why WP Page Builder has gotten my attention because I spoke to the guys over at Themium. I said to them, if this is your free version, what's going to be in your pro version? And in the end, the pro version actually features just more layouts. In the future, they will add more features that will be only for the pro version. But at this moment, the free version is absolutely mind blowing. Working with it already for a while, there are still a few bugs here and there. And I want to say, if we looked in at the standout features currently of this page builder, I would say the first standout feature is that the free builder is so massive in its covering of what it can do with all these add-ons, even just here with the WordPress widgets that you can add on. 
you get all these blocks that you can build up a website from scratch. Look at that, so many. And then the layouts, there's about four or five that you can get for the free version. One, two, three, and I think four, yeah, five. Five that you can get and the rest are in the pro version. That works very similar to any other page builder and we'll be looking at that in another video called WP Page Builder Basics. Here we're just going to have an overview of it. So definitely the free version is one of the standout features of this plugin. The next I want to say at this moment that really impressed me was the support. If you go onto the forum at Themium and you log anything, these guys get back to you instantly. I've been giving them my ideas, we've been working on stuff, and it is amazing that I will tell them I found a glitch, they will respond within an hour or two during business hours, and then tell me later on, hey, we fixed it, like on the same day. Now that, that just feels good as you see this product getting better just so quickly. And then that is the third feature at this moment, I want to say the pace at which this product came out. Anyone who worked with it a month or two ago, if you compare it where it is today, you will know that there's been significant improvements in this product in just a month. And if that's how they can improve this product within a month, it's really looking good for the future for WP Page Builder. Let's go look a little bit at the pricing and I just want to run down here on the builder page. If you go to themium.com, I'll put that in the link below. You can have a look here and you will see there's the 60 blocks, pre-made blocks, 30 add-ons at this moment, and then 20 layout packs. And there's a lot that you can see here. If we look at the pricing quickly at the bottom, if you want to know, you are going to be paying a single price for one domain use at around $40, $39. But you should think broader than that. If you look on the right side, the club membership, you've got the choice of including all the themes that they've got, as well as all plugins. And then you get a discount of 20%. So those plugins that we had mentioned earlier doesn't only include WP Page Builder, it also includes the crowdsourcing and the mega menu, things that are really nice. So if you go for that one, which was, I think, a hundred and let's go check it again before I confuse myself. Um, that is for a year. It's really an outstanding deal. So there you go, the pricing 150 and then you get unlimited domain use for those plugins plus all of that. And that is really a great deal. Having said that, if you just want to try the free version, you can couple it with any good theme out there. I've used it. I've tested it with many of the famous ones like Astra. It works perfectly. So at this moment, I would just urge you to go and test it. You will have to get used to the interface like any other page builder. Everyone works in their own way. Things that you are used to in other page builders may not do what you wanted to do in this page builder. But the most important thing that you have to understand, the free version is at currently at version 1.0.1 and the pro version is at 1. And speaking of the pro, the only difference between free and pro at this moment are those layouts that you've seen here. You see, you see, there's the one with pro. If you've got the pro version, and I'll show you later in when we're looking at WP Page Builder in the basics video, the pro layouts, these are the only differences at this moment between the free and pro. In the future, there will be more features and more add-ons that will be exclusive to pro. At this moment, the only difference is these layouts. Right. So um, if you find anything, and that's why I say I urge you to go and test it, go to the forum, log it. These guys are quick. They're fixing it at speed of light. And that has really impressed me. This is a quick overview of WP Page Builder from Themium. Check the link below for themium.com. Go check it out. If you want to install it in the next video, I will show you how to install it, how to set it up. And in the video after that, we'll be having a quick look at how the page builder work in the basics video. This is JB with Websites for Beginners.